In a quest to always keep learning, we're debuting a new segment right here on the show, something to teach, something to learn. I've always wanted to learn how to act, so I talked with LaDonna Carpenter, who has been part of around 20 shows over the last eight years, including with Dakota Stage, Sleepy Hollow, and Capital Shakespeare. Take a look. LaDonna Carpenter, I needed an expert, someone to talk to me <laughs> about how to act, how to not get scared on mm. stage. And I'm, I mean, I'm sure this is something, one of those skills that you're always, you know, working on and achieving, but you have so much experience <laughs> directing and being on stage yourself. Can you just help me learn how do you, how do you act? Acting to me is, is the art of applying my own life and my own experience to whatever character I'm playing. Uh, my first role at Dakota Stage was, um, was Diana Goodman in Next to Normal, which is the story of a, a woman who has, basically she has bipolar disorder. Um, I grew up with, with a lot of mental illness in my family, and so I was able to apply a lot of that to, okay, this is how this character would react, and this is what would, what would happen. The other thing with acting, though, is just simply listening to what's going on around you, to what your other characters are saying, what your coworkers or your, your castmates are coworkers, what your castmates are saying, listen to them and react again as your character would. Bingo! What is it? Two sets of accounting books. It looks like Mr. Hart's been stealing from the company. Oh, no way. The key to not being nervous is kind of it's kind of three things. First of all, preparation. Preparation. You you have to know what you're going to say. If you're you know if you're public speaking or if you're doing a script, whatever, know what you're going to say. The second thing is practice. Practice over and over and over and over again. That's why we have rehearsal, so we can practice things multiple times and make sure we have them exactly right. Um, and then the third thing is just repetition. Just do it over and over and over again. Do another speech. Play, be in another play. Do you know? Just do it and do it and do it again. And it's it almost desensitizes you after a while. I'm sure you were the same way the first time you were on TV. Yeah, I'm sure you were very nervous, but through that through that preparation and practice, and then just repeating it over and over again, you just kind of learn how to bring all that in in and and really harness it into excitement and not nerves 100 percent, and i do tell people a lot i think it's different being on tv because there isn't actual people <laughs> i know you're watching out there but i can't actually see you and that makes the difference for me is the the live audience and really seeing their faces and everything like that we are playing abby and martha who are the two aunties who Lure men, lure these lonely old men to their house so that they can feed them arsenic in their homemade elderberry wine. Oh wow! <laughs> it's a mercy what we're doing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. but it's a comedy. Yes. It's a um, any final words, I guess, for anyone who wants to know how to act? If you if you want to know, acting is one of those things that if you want to know how to do it, you have to just do it. You have to just jump in and do it. So come in, walk, walk in the door for one of our auditions, join our Facebook page, join Capital Shakespeare's Facebook page. Um, there are several community theaters here in town. You know, find one of their Facebook pages. They always, we always post audition notices. Walk in the door, take that first step, and just do it. Come on, Violet. Dream big. Anything's possible. A female CEO. That would be wonderful. I want it so much, I can taste it. This has been something to teach, something to learn. And so my question to you is, what is a skill that you've always wanted to learn? I love to read. Um, and one of the things that I have to do at Dakota Stage is read scripts. I am such a slow reader that I, it, it, it almost makes me want to put, the, put books down and go find recordings. I want to learn how to be a voiceover artist. Okay, there you have it. We're looking for an expert to teach us what she wants to know, how to be a voiceover artist for audiobooks, things like that. 
If you know someone who you think would be a great expert on this subject, please send us an email to studio701 at kxnet.com. I want to hear from Jeff. What do you most want to learn? Well, I just got to say I'm a little confused. When you said you want to learn how to act, I thought you were just like behave yourself. You're saying <laughs> you want to you want to learn how to like be an actress. I want to learn how to act right. Finally, I want to learn, want to learn how to act. <laughs> My mom's been trying to get me to do that for 42 years. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's that's great. Learn how to act. I mm -hmm. think that's. Good. I also want to learn to be a voiceover. I actually would like to do. Um, you have a great voice. I don't have a great voice. Yes, you do. I would like to do. Do like uh, like Lark's games. What am I thinking of? A oh, sports announcer. Yeah, an announcer. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> like the totally Chicago Bulls. Yeah. Yeah, like stuff like that. Oh, I think that'd fun. Be fun. We can I do it to my happen. kids all the time, and they roll their eyes. <laughs> so I don't think I'm very good. But give it.